Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk and welcome back to Wazhack. Last time I had a, held a poll and Weapon Precision won by 7 votes. Nightmare Mona had 3 votes and Dual Wield also had 3 votes. And Commerce had 1 vote. Not too bad. Continue game. Also you can have multiple different uh, save files of different characters, but you can only suspend these games. If you die in one of these games, you lose the save file forever. And that's actually something I want to bring up. Uh, sometimes my recordings might fail and because of that, Maybe at some point, suddenly, I would like uh, have to would tell you guys that I lost all the save file and we have to start over. So, it's unfortunate, but uh, it's just how it is. I don't know how to like prevent my recorder from failing sometimes, and yeah. Okay, let's upgrade our talent. Uh, I press talent. And yeah, I think it's just loading. And here we go. Weapon Precision 1. It's the, the talent with the big target on it. No wonder it won. Like, it's the super obvious one. I, I, to be quite frank, I actually wanted either Larceny or Commerce, but I guess I'll have Weapon Precision. It does help a lot, though, but I do recommend it for people who are casual, first time playing this game. Anyway, let's head downstairs and hopefully not die immediately. Oh, it's a Gardner Snake. A Garter Snake. Uh, I think those might poison me, but it's very rare. And they die very easily. And they don't drop corpses. Oh, a bat. Bye, bat. Bats and tiny snakes like that are very easy to deal with. Clear gem. I'll try to drop that right now, actually. Nope. I, think, I believe that clear gems, they might also be like frost gems. If they're like magical. Orange gems. Those can open up portals sometimes. And that is not one of those. And violet gems. Uh, hmm. I think violet gems are electrical or something. If they're magical, that is. And that is not a magical gem. Magical gems are kind of rare now. They were very common in the uh, version 1.1 of this game. At least in my games that I played with uh, myself. <laughs> and that is a spider web. And it is just a spiderweb, fortunately. Very fortunately, it is just a spiderweb. I'm trying to get rid of it right now, but I think I have to get caught in it to actually like start getting rid of it. They take a lot of... They, 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 it took quite a bit, few hits. If there was a monster nearby, they could have uh, like t t given me some serious damage and uh, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. And that is a frost vortex or dust vortex? That's what it seems to be like. It's a fog cloud. Fog clouds are usually very passive, actually, so uh, you have to attack them manually, really. They also deal extremely little damage, but they're hard to kill. There we go. Oh, no, actually, we didn't kill it. We just uh, have to can upgrade our skills. And we are going to upgrade our knife skill. Confirm. I, think, I believe that... Uh, how many skills you can upgrade depends on your level. Come on, die already. I'm not actually it doesn't seem like I'm dealing any damage. Like I dealt one damage right there, but that's it. Two damage here. No two damage. The damage is minimal, that's what it is. The, the fog cloud is hardly affected by physical attacks. Okay, you know what? Since it's hardly affected by physical attacks, blessed wall of lightning, go! Uh, make sure if I'm aiming properly. I zapped it. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. It's definitely dead. And we got a, we got a bag. Let's pick up the bag. The entire bag. And now let's check it out. Open! It's got a green gem and a skeleton key inside! That is good. Uh, can I take this stuff out? I guess not. I have to... Use it. Everything you are not currently using is now stored in the bag. Oh, okay. That is a, kind of like an automatic uh, future about bags. They can automatically store all your inventory, which is kind of useful because uh, I've got uh, scrolls and books that I want to protect... Uh, and that's this, one of the uses the bag has uh, with storing stuff. Anyway, stop using. 
uh, not add stuff. Uh, no, I, actually, I think I automatically uh, took everything out. Yep, I took it. I automatically took everything out. So uh, I'm gonna use it now, though. Okay, we're good. Explain all the everything about this bag. Is there a door here? No, apparently not. And you know what? I'm gonna read that other scroll. And it is a scroll of fire. It burned my bag. I'm just gonna heal right now because I really don't want to have low health in this game. You really, really don't. And but fortunately, this was a good thing to add that bag because otherwise, uh, that scroll would have burned uh, probably some of my scrolls. Anyway, let's start identifying some stuff. Namely, this asymmetrical dagger. I've been wondering about it. A Chris knife. Huh. I wonder if that means anything special about uh, that. You know what? Let's equip it. I mean, it's asymmetrical and everything. It's uncursed, so I really don't lose anything for it. So is it just that it looks special? Is that what it is? Well, I'm going to use it for a bit, but if it's like not all that great, I'm going to go back to the plus one dagger. Man, it sure is dark over here. We're going to lock that chest with a skeleton key. This is why it is extremely useful. I'm pretty sure with our skeleton key, we can pretty much unlock nearly any door in the game. And that, I don't believe that a skeleton key can even break. And you know what? All this stuff right here, all useful. But unfortunately, it slows our load. Anyway, let's read the other scrolls of identification. Uh, hmm. Let's identify the wizard helm first. It is a cursed helm of madness. We are not wearing that ever. I don't... Hmm, is there a monster there? Seems to be a goblin. Oh, it's a cave spider. Not too dangerous, but... Uh, we probably want to drop one of our equipments right now before I get uh, killed to death because I'm too slow. Hmm. But what to drop? Uh, I guess the Cursed Helm of Madness. Unfortunately, I'm still heavy, but uh, I'm going to take my chances. Finally, gained another level. Okay, what now? I, I get to choose this time. <laughs> Trappings. I do not want to make traps. Hmm. I need another level 2 talent before I can upgrade this yet again. And... You know what? Silence hasn't been all that great, to be honest. So, I'm going to upgrade Commerce, because that's what I wanted. Uh, we took everything out of the large chest, so no. Let's read the other scroll of identification. Let's identify our bag, actually. Let's make sure it's not like a normal bag. Yeah, it's a leather bag. That, that was kind of a waste, but uh, sometimes it can be a bag of holding, and those are precious I precious items. You definitely want those. Okay, thankfully I can stay unencumbered for the time being. Being encumbered uh, in this dungeon, not a good thing. Even being just a little bit slower than usual can be fatal to a player. And the licking. It, it still didn't drop any food. That is weird. Oh, gas stones! Oh, one of them is a gas stone. Gas stones are useful for poisoning stuff. Unfortunately, I do not have poison resistance. As it, at least I don't think so. So it will damage me quite a lot if I don't use it properly. That being said, if I'm in immense danger, it, it can be useful for like uh, enemies that are stuck in uh, somewhere and uh, like I put them to sleep and stuff. Or if I get poison resistance, I can literally just drop it at my feet and uh, suddenly have a cloud of poison protecting me while it doesn't do anything against me. An iron skull cap. Actually, I don't have any helmets right now on me. It might be a good idea for me to put something on. Another another potion of extra healing. Those are useful. Even even cursed potions of extra healing are useful. This was a small level, to be honest. Not a lot, a whole lot to it. Anyway, 400 feet. Let's go left. Or actually, no, let's go right first. Let's drop this red gem. It doesn't do anything. And that is a Kobold Lord with a wand. Uh, fortunately, I have a, an Amulet of Reflection, so if it casts a spell, uh, except perhaps striking, it shouldn't affect me. Oh goodness, 16. I am not taking chances. <laughs> Go to sleep. Wait, it's dead? It died from me throwing the, the potion of sleeping at it? Oh man, I should have just stabbed it one more time then. They really don't have much HP, that's for sure. 
Anyway, it has lots of good stuff though. Oop, uh, well I took the cobalt dinners. I guess I'll eat them. I feel a bit sick. Uh, that is not good. I, I completely forgot that cobalt... Cobalts do not have good corpses. You don't want to eat them. But only a bit sick, right? Ravens are annoying. They have an initial amount of HP and uh, they move extremely fast. They're not the worst enemy ever, but uh, I picked up a piece of raven meat. Um, I guess I'll eat the raven meat. Yeah, it's okay. Pair of back boots. Uh, it's too heavy. In that case, uh, hmm, actually the black boots would be more appropriate for my character. But no, I'm not gonna wear the brown black boots. I'm gonna just leave them there. Oh, these are this is uh, for the dwarven uh, uh, caves or whatever, whatever it's called. Uh, it's basically a side dungeon if you want to go into it. That being said, it is exclusively made of a uh, super dangerous enemies, and there's a dwarf right there. I could probably st stealth up on it and stab it in the back, maybe. Stab you! Ha! Surprise attack does double damage and kills them instantly. Gnomes are not very tough, but there's, they have lots of uh, machinery down there that can effectively and easily kill you. Anyway, we turn the valve on, and then the light turns green, and there's no subtle imagery right there, and there's something written on the wall. Oh, wait. Oh, there's something written on the fort wall. <laughs> well, before you could actually read this stuff, and uh, it clearly said, uh, please uh, vote... Uh, on a green a steam st green light something like that anyway we're not going to go into the dwarven mines right now uh, because uh it's not very dangerous but it's not uh, the coziest place i want to go to right now uh dust vortex i don't believe these things can even damage us they just like blind us a bit unfortunately it is not very much affected by my physical attacks Okay, you know what? This uh, Chris knife isn't all that great. I'm going back to the dagger. Uh, the uncursed uh, plus one dagger. Come on. I really don't want to use my uh, wand of lightning again. Especially not for this enemy that barely does any damage. But there are some vortexes uh, later in the game that will deal lots of damage, so... This is basically just an introduction to them being, for the most part, invincible against your attacks. Okay, you know what? I'm losing too much HP. Time to use the Blessed Wand of Lightning. The Dust Vortex grounds the shock. It is invincible against it. Then take Magic Missile instead. There, finally, took enough hit damage. The, the whole issue is that the... Wait, is it dead? No, it is not dead. And now there's a spider that is joining in on the fun. Oh, great. Take some magic missiles, guys. More magic missile. Is Finally, finally the dust vortex is dead. It took a lot of punishment. And know what? I'm quaffing one of the potions of healings because I'm have way too little uh, HP right there. You always want your health to be very high. Because you never know when an enemy is just going to pop out of nowhere. Uh, we got two rain so far. Uh, it's usually not a good idea to equip them. Because some of them can be like a cursed rain of levitation. And that can screw you tremendously. But uh, for the most part, uh, most of them are good. Especially if you can and identify them. Are those both thorn spell books? Well, I guess I can sell one of them for a good price. We learn Knock. Knock! One of the most useless spells ever! At least I think so. And only a 17% chance to cast it? Wow. I guess it's because of my chain, chain melt that I have on. You know what? It's true. I really shouldn't put that chain melt on anymore. It's too heavy. It's the reason I'm uh, like uh, so over encumbered. As you can see here. It... But if, if I ever find a, a blacksmith or go back to that general store guy, it, it will make a, some good money to like get from them. Oh, 15 minutes already? Wow, time sure goes past. 
time sure passes by fast when you're playing this game. Because you're playing it so carefully and stuff. Oh, perfect! A church, or a sanctuary rather. Using this guy, I can identify all my cursed things and all my blessed things. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of cursed stuff. Uh, cursed Temov scroll? Really? Wow. He can, however, this guy can bless our stuff, which is extremely useful. And as it turns out, both, star, both our reigns are cursed. Oh no, actually no, my Sapphire reign is actually blessed. Okay, perfect. In that case, uh, I'm just going to have... Hmm. I'm going to bless the Uncursed Scroll of Remove Curse, actually. Know why? Because when we read a Blessed Scroll of Remove Curse, it uncurses all of our things, I think. Yeah, it uncursed all of my stuff. Perfect. I, I didn't have as much cursed stuff as I expected, though. But basically, if you have an uncursed scroll of remove curse and you see this guy, just tell him to bless the uncursed scroll of remove curse and you, you'll be able to instantly uh, uncurse uh, all of your stuff. It's like a, to save some money, you know. Uh, and as of before, with the shopkeeper, you can actually try to kill this guy. But there, I don't believe there is any advantage to it. You really don't want to ever do that. Uh, one more thing, I believe sanctuaries, uh, monsters, like, uh, are afraid of them. And they will run away from you if you, like, go in there. I, I'm not too sure, though. It could have been nerfed, it could have been not. I'm not sure. Anyway, we always want to remember this place, because uh, this will be extremely useful for future instances. Because we really want to bless our stuff. Anyway, let's put on this gold rain. We feel weak! Well, that's why I was cursed. So, unequip it. And now let's put on the blessed sapphire rain. It... Doesn't seem to do anything that uh, immediately obvious. So uh, we're gonna just keep it on and hopefully it'll be something good or not something bad like a uh, random teleportation. And we got another dwarf right there. But I can sneak up on him. And that's stabbing him in the back. And run away now. And he drank the potion of healing? Huh. Well, take that. Go to sleep. Stab you in the back. He woke up after two hits, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I, I was actually thinking about using another potion of healing, but uh, fortunately, one potion was enough. Anyway, he's got a bunch of stuff we might be able to sell if we find uh, another general store person or something like that. But uh, for the time being, I'll leave his stuff right there. Another dark room. It's hard to tell if there's any monsters anywhere here. Got a Prisurushini scroll. So whatever that means. And a wall. Let's go up here. And we got a hill orc. These guys, they can be decently tough. And a kobold shaman right behind me. As well as uh, something down there. And yeah, I figured uh, we are... Oh no, I feel deadly sick. Dang it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> how quickly has this situation escalated to a fatal danger? But fortunately, we still have wands of lightning and whatnot. Look at all that damage. We already killed the kobold. Lo no, the kobold is still alive. And my blessed wand of lightning is completely done. Okay, I have to quaff my potion of extra healing right now because uh, that deadly sick disease, it does a lot of damage. And yeah, see this is the good thing about potions of extra healing. They can heal this kind of uh, sickness and you really want to be healed. Anyway, go to sleep. There we go. Level 7. Okay. Um, you know what? I kind of... No, I have another idea for a poll that for you guys. Commerce again, maybe? Shop Surfaces are half price. Yeah, that can be very useful. Surfaces at half price? That's part of the reason why it wasn't uh, super expensive for me to do a blessing. Hmm. Uh, but I need a little, a little two talent for that. You know what? I'm going to upgrade Commerce level 2. And then maybe I'll do Silence next time, so I'll be extremely uh, easy to make some uh, backstabs. And we want that pair. Yeah! Ebony Wand! The Ebony Wand, I, I believe, it is a Wand of Striking. I'm surprised we haven't identified it. I guess it wasn't because he was in the dark. Maybe that's why. And we'll pick up all those mushrooms. And a frosty potion right there? No, potion. Well, it is a frosty potion, but 
frosty potions in this uh, game are potions of sickness. I haven't used one yet. Uh, I really should though. Wow, it is surprisingly dark here and there is absolutely nothing. So we got a few things here, but for the most part, we just put our life in danger for no reason at all. Oh, that was a dark green mold. I just ran into it and killed it immediately. It wasn't there before though, so uh, it shows how easily uh, some enemies can just spawn out of nowhere. Finally, let's unlock this chest. Scroll of light, Pyrrhusini scroll, tub of something. Uh, tub of something is always a tub of lard or a tub of grease, and it's always useful. Hmm. Okay. Let's identify all of our stuff. Uh, our potion of healing emits a dark cloud. Well, let's eat first. A loaf of bread. Stomach heals content. And as you can see, now uh, it only costs me 50 coins to do uh, a blessing and uh, uh, like uh, bless something, which can be extremely useful. Uh, that being said, I'm going to look at my inventory right now. Um, we still got our gas stone. Got seven apples. Okay, we're not going to run out of the uh, food anytime soon. I'm going to quaff this yellow potion. Hopefully nothing extremely bad will happen. I, no, I want to quaff it. Uh, I'll quaff it a bit later. No, I also want to read these two scrolls because I thought they might have been cursed. First, the Temov scroll. Oh, goodness. Uh, uncursed scroll of conflict. Yep, uh, the dude over there, he's uh, now uh, going to try to attack us. So we better run away. Yes, farewell. Please, farewell. Okay, the issue about conflict... In this game, it makes monsters like spawn everywhere around you and they all like charge at you immediately. So it is a very dangerous thing to read. I'm just gonna try to kill this fog cloud. Because if the fog cloud is the only thing I have to deal with, uh, then that's fine. There we go. Fog clouds are a lot easier to deal than dust clouds or the dust vortexes, rather. And I think this is it. Fortunately. Anyway, uh, conflict uh, like uh, dissipates after a while, fortunately. So we won't have to deal with that anymore. Let's read the Priru Shani scroll. A scroll of create monster. Can you die, please? Yeah, uh, monsters that you create are usually not uh, as strong as you were. Stronger than you or anything. So it's usually fine. Well, it's nice to know what that scroll was. And now let's finally quaff our yellow potion. A potion of acid. Uh, it deals a bit of damage if you quaff it, but uh, what you're supposed to do with it is throw it at enemies, I believe. There, there's probably other practical uses for it that I'm not aware of right now, but uh, for the most part, it is one of the like uh, least favorable potions. Even potions of sickness are usually a lot better. Hmm. Okay, you know what, guys? I think this will be it for this uh, video. It's been 23 minutes, and uh, we found a lot of stuff. That being said, it's time for the poll of the day. Should I go to the Dwarven Mines? To the left down here, or should I go downstairs below 500 feet? Vote now! Besides that though, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a very nice day.